Good morning to all, and to all, good morning. Hey, this is Garden Guy, Benj Meeks. Uh, today, we're not putting any gardens in. We are actually going to be finishing a fire pit. Fire pit that has been in the works. We, did already, we already did the retaining wall aspect. We already started the fire pit. And now today, I'm gonna go down and purchase some uh, fire clay is what it's called. It's the, it's the mortar that you put around inside the fire pit with the fire brick there because that's going to experience quite a bit of heat. It needs to be able to withstand that heat, so I'm going to go down there and get that stuff, bring it back, and start on that pit today. Hopefully, hopefully get it done today. By the end of the day, I hope to be able to show you all how to create a field stone fire pit. Homemade field stone fire pit. All right. Voila, here's the receipt. There you go. Him over there. Ooh, he's fast. Just on the pile there. there. Alright. Okay, awesome possum. Let's get out of here and go to the job site and get some work done. Woo! Fire pit going in today. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Good time. Okay, let me show you what's going on here, folks. We've already built this retaining wall. Now it still needs a little work, so I need to scrape off all the mortar that's spilled off and all that good stuff. But that's almost done. Fire pit is going in. We're going to be putting in the fire clay and stuff all around the inside. And for here is going to be a flagstone pathway coming around and then sea gravel within the inside. Mortar mix, we need to get some water. First things first, we have this base already all the way around, but we need to create a level, leveled out area about two inches off of the inside of these, these field stone, coming all the way around of, of crusher run, so that we have a solid base, press that down compact it down and then we'll have a, a layer of, of mortar and we'll lay the first layer of bricks. The first layer of bricks is the key, the key ingredient to making this all work. It needs to be completely level. So we're gonna get the so crusher run first and then we'll, we'll put the mortar down and we'll be able to use that mortar to really just make the first layer perfect. All right, level this out. I forgot my three foot level, so I'm just using this small one today. It'll do the trick. Next, come back through and compact. All right, folks, we have the circle all around. It's about an inch and a half thick. And I've made these little divots because when you press the bricks down, and we need to have pockets to where there's room for the, for the mortar to go. Okay folks, this stuff is ready to be used. This is the fire clay mortar. Can withstand the heat.
Alright folks, the first layer is down. I went along the back and you want to go ahead and uh, wipe those clean, wipe the top clean so that you're not having a little grit on the top. It's looking good, level across the top. Later on we'll come back in here and clean up these little areas and in the back. Put another layer down now. Second layer's done, y'all. It's looking good. Looking good. Glass nice. bricks going in. Action's filming. All right, we're ready. What do you mean if it came down to? Got the middle area done there. And the next step is just to build around the middle fire brick area with these Field stone. Okay, you ready for this, y'all? Got Hulk here. Garden guy, the Hulk. Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's come around here so you can see where it's going. Oh yeah. That's looking snazzy. There we go. Now we still have a little space back there to be able to backfill with the gravels. Every time I build one of these fire pits, I like to alternate the sizes so we have large, small, thin. Just to make it look more beautiful and you really make it look like a, a nice puzzle. It's going in, y'all, it's going in. I went ahead and put some of the bigger stones that I want to be there. And then starting to fill it in right in here. It's kind of hard to see because the shadow right there. But yeah, it's going in. What are you doing, Ashley? I am, as you said, feathering and packing oh. the gravel in between to create a layer of insulation between the fire brick and the Tennessee stone. Well said, well said. Feathering it in there. So we've got the stone here, feathering it in. I like that word, feathering. Feathering. Feathering, feathering. Dude, I, you know how shy I used to be. Oh, yeah. Good, man. You've done a lot. You've done a, a lot better. Oh, it is. All right, Mr. Ashton is filling back in right there. I'm last the last layer. I'm coming back through, and I'm making sure it's level with the top of these bricks. These last rocks are the flat ones that come along the top, and they. They finish it off just give it a nice finished touch where you can kind of sit on this or stand on it, whatever you need to do. Whoa! Look at that thing. We are making some serious progress. All of the top here, as you can see, is more level across here. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but we want to get it to where once we put one more layer of, of mortar, that it's all ready. It's all nice and level across there and ready to be put down. All right, we have this fire clay mortar now, and I'm gonna use it on the top here. You know, clean all this off, and then slap that right there, because that really needs to be able to resist the heat. There's gonna be quite a bit of heat, you know, climbing up through here. We need to put that right there to make sure that the whole thing works. Okay, last step here is we're going along the top with our capstone, making sure to settle them down in, but these are the flatter bigger stones that will be the last little step here so that uh, when people like put their foot up on here or sit on there you know we don't want it to be wobbly or anything 
Yeah, so my poor camera died, so Ashton is letting me borrow his cool phone. Hopefully the audio is okay. Oh, hello. I am uh, just chilling in this fire pit. Thankfully there's no fire right now. And uh, yeah, we're, we're happy about this fire pit. It's looking good. I would say, what do you think, Ashton? I think it's looking pretty spectacular. Spectacular. Yep. Awesome, that's good. I asked him from a scale of the one to 10 and he said 50. So I don't know if he thought I said from a one to a hundred or what was that all about? Was that, was that just a way to say it was awesome? Pretty much. Okay. Well, I like to hear, man. Last step, we're going through while the mortar is soft and just finishing up little touch ups, scraping all of the excess out. And we kind of go about a half an inch into the uh, mortar so that the rocks start to pop out. Like, see that? When you take enough out, it really starts to make the whole thing pop out. I just like to use a stick, but you can use a wire brush or anything like that. Yep. That's how we do it. Whoa, look at that thing. Ashton, we killed it, man. Look at that Trying, man. beautifulness. Let's turn this thing around and look at it. Kaboom, fire pit in the books. Actually, we're not quite done because we gotta fill all this back in with different materials. Flagstone through there, you know, pea gravel around here. But honestly, we are done with the fire pit aspect. Well, be putting some pea gravel down the, the base and it'll come about to right there so pretty good stuff but yes there it is ashton good job brother thanks man looking Couldn't good have done it without you hey same and your materials same <laughs> basically you needed me pretty much all right ashton on one two three uh, no, just kidding ashton yeah thanks bro Good stuff, Thanks, good times. It's a lot of fun. Wow, crazy hair, dude. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was a blessed day. Thank you, Lord, for the bright sunshine. Kind of warm. Pretty good for November, honestly. Yeah, it wasn't bad. But, dude, I'm liking it. It's gonna pop with more color later on. And yeah, good start, good start. There it is.